Hi everyone, it's Jennifer. Uh, so I just recently realized that it's been about a month since I have done um, any videos, uh, which isn't completely abnormal for me. I tend to do them in clumps, I guess, and you know, do a few at a time and then it'll be a while. But um, part of the problem is I'm just really bad about getting stuff filmed or videoed before I have to send it out. So I have some time to share this swap with you. Um, it's a swap that I completed for mini album scraps and it is a tickets, tags, or ATC swap and the theme was beach or ocean. Um, a lot of people did, you know, seahorses and um, shells and way, you know, that, like, that sort of thing and um, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Um, I went a little bit of a different direction. I went ahead and went with a nautical theme. And I went ahead and did all three. I did the tickets, the tags, and the ATCs. Um, and I'm really, really happy with the way they turned out. They are just really, really fun to me. So, um... And I think I was on a little bit of a 4th of July kick because I did a um, mini pocket letter 4th of July one. And I had so much fun doing that that I think it was just still kind of inspiring me. And um, so I wanted to share with you what I did. Uh, the first thing is the tickets. And you create three of each. And they are all basically the same. So... Um, little string of glue. I'm just trying to get off real quick. Okay. So this is the ticket. And um, just red cardstock. And cut a little ticket, ticket stub shape. Um, this background paper is from a piece of paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it was uh, like the barn wood. But it was red, white, and blue. So this is some that was left over in the white. And then I faux stitched with um, a blue, kind of like a turquoise blue pen, which kind of matches the this part. But um, and then I had these craft colored labels, and I put that on top of there. And then this right here, if I can, I don't know, I can't really pull it up, but it's got anchors and a sailboat, and I think there's like the um, the ship's wheel on there and it's actually duct tape that I got at Dollar Tree and it was just so cute that I wanted to, to add it onto there. Um, and then I did, I had these letters, sticker letters, and I did sail away. And then I added, I had these felt um, flowers from Michaels, I added one there, and then I had these Prima flowers in the blue, and then I just added the red rhinestone there. So that's the, the ticket. Um, and like I said, they're all three just basically the same. So, and then here's the tags. And like I said, I love all three pieces that I did. My favorite, though, is the tags for sure. They just, I love the way they came together. And they were supposed to be like dimensional, like not just a flat you know, image. So this is what, um, I came up with the tag again. And I tried real, real quick. Um, like with the ticket, how I had the craft label there. I, I wanted to add the craft in a little bit just to not be 100% red, white, blue, you know? So here's the tag. Um, there's the back of it, which I stamped the anchor on there. It, it's a stamp that I got from Unity Stamps, and it has the anchor with the hearts and the little sentiment that says, Your love is my anchor. So I put that on there. And then I inked the edges with um, some white, I think, chalk ink that I had. And then I don't know if you can tell, but I misted it with some, um, what is it, Tattered Angels Ice Blue or something like that. I don't know. It's like a real real light icy color but it just gives it a little bit of shimmer so and then on the front uh, this paper right here is another piece of paper um, 
I think I got that at Joann's. I could be wrong. It could be Hobby Lobby, but I kind of think I got it at Joann's. I don't know. I've had it a little bit while. But I put that on there, the anchors, to tie into the nautical theme. And then um, I inked the edges of the craft uh, tag with red and inked the edges of this paper. And then I added this trim that I up here for just a little bit of kind of sparkle. Um, had that for a while. Uh, this pocket I know that I got from Michaels. And I thought it was kind of fun because, you know, you've got a tag. But then you can open it up and actually, you know, put stuff in there. So I thought that was really cute. And I'm not going to worry about closing this all the way because, yeah. And then I had this burlap ribbon and it's actually cut in half. So it was like about that wide and I cut it in half because I didn't want that big of a piece. And I ruffled it along there and then glued it on there. And then, you know, of course, I've got the pocket tucked behind it. And then these flowers are a combination of the felt flowers that I had for Michaels and the Prima flowers. I had a few different colors of these Prima flowers. So I um, went with the, the red and the blue again to tie up the nautical theme. And then this um, the tie at the top is just some red and white ribbon I had left over from my pocket letter some twine with it's just like the natural color with um silver in it and then just some jute twine that i tied and then tied a bow right there so that's my tag and again all three of them and one two and three. Oh, that's got some bad glue strings on them i have to get that off anyways um, and again, all have the same, the same sign on the back. And I know this is a little weird. I'm filming at my other desk and the wall behind it looks really bad because something had been scraped up, like moved against it and it scraped up. And so I moved my little letter holder and turned it around backwards so you can get something pretty to look at. So it's kind of limiting me on space, but it works. So, and then the last is the ATCs. Uh, and this is when I came up with them. It's got a burlap back, which I cut a little piece of the um, duct tape. This one has a sailboat on it. And uh, this paper is from Hobby Lobby. And this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. And I added some of this silver glitter washi tape here and then put the twine over that and then added the two flowers and then um this little piece right here with the ahoy and then i cut out an anchor from the other paper and added it and then just a little gem there and then these little cute little fourth of july uh clothes pins i thought that was cute you know they can take it off and use it for something else or leave it on there however they want so um and again, three of them, basically the same. Really, like the only difference is like the gems on these two are round and this one's got like a rectangle. And then I think on the back, this one's got a red sailboat, this one's got a blue sailboat, and that one's got an anchor. So, but all pretty much the same. Like I said, a little nautical theme, I loved it. We've been really, you know, anchors have been really really let me see if I can move it out of here. Yeah. anchors have just been really really popular so you know it just all tied in together so but um, I'm getting ready to send them off this next week but I wanted to share them with you and I will have coming up um, may not be for a few months like sometime in September possibly I'm going to do a large um, pocket letter share with you because I've been doing this swap and every two weeks there's like a group of 10 of us doing it and every two weeks we send out a pocket letter to the next person on the list like we go down the list and um, it kind of rotate I don't know but you send out to a different person each week and everybody gets one each week and anyways so um, I will have I've decided 
to wait and film all that I received together. Um, getting them together in a notebook or a binder. I actually had to purchase a larger one because my other one was not even coming close to fitting. So I purchased a larger one um, and I'm going to wait till I have all of them together and then just do one large video showcasing all of them. So um, they're just, they're so much fun. I am loving the pocket letters, loving them. And I really, really had a great time doing the mini pocket letter. And I'm hoping that we will do another one. That was just a lot of fun. And um, anyways, I just want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please, you know, like, share, comment. And thanks again for watching. Bye.